In 2019, Levon was already 190 kilograms when he pulled on Garbov. Then he said that weight felt terrible, so he cut down to 165 kilograms to pull the tally. He said he felt much more powerful at 165 kilograms. At that time, I really thought he's chill around that. Then when he pulled Dave, he went up to 175 kilograms. I was a bit surprised. But then he just kept ballooning to 178 kilograms for Devin and 188 kilograms for Ermius. Now he has gone full circle and is cutting again. Not sure how much longer he can keep this given his very positive relationship with food. I'm sure he doesn't enjoy eating that much. Nobody does who is an athlete. He's looked better at higher weights he's been at before. But I think ultimately it takes time to grow into a body weight. If he went to 190 kilograms a couple more times, he'd probably feel more and more comfortable each time. But that's not to say it's the best performing weight. I don't think Levon has significantly more stamina at 165 versus 188, but he might have significantly more strength at 188, which means he can put away matches quicker. Most people at his weight do not enjoy eating enough to maintain that. A few videos showing his day in the life don't show the difficulty of what he does. At his size, you're going to lose muscle when you lose weight. There is no getting around that. If you have a lot of body fat like Levon has, then cutting 10 kilograms will hurt his strength. It does because you cannot gain the same strength in a calorie deficit as you can in a surplus. This is why the majority of active strongman competitors are not lean. While it's generally true that you won't gain as much strength in a deficit as you do a surplus, it doesn't mean that you can't gain strength in a deficit under the right circumstances. Having a lot of excess body fat is one of those circumstances. Losing so much weight to the point that you're legit lean is probably going to hurt your strength to some extent. However, Levon didn't lose weight to that point. He went from like 35% to 31% body fat as rough estimate. And in his recent training video, this is so insane that it's unreal. Just when I thought that Levon can't get any stronger, he's curling heaviest weights of all time. Not only that, in the end, he said that he could have done at least one more rep. The arms match has clearly motivated Levon to push his training and steer it to the next level. It was getting annoying how people would claim Dennis' biceps were far stronger than Levon's by comparing cheat curls. But it was clear to me that Prime Dennis was cheating significantly more than Levon in some of the sets they were trying to compare. Well, this is how much Levon can do when he cheats a lot. People have to remember that not all cheat curls are the same. It's even difficult to compare cheat curls because we can't accurately measure exactly how much hip drive each uses to get the weight going, not to mention they were using different grips. All we can do is sort of eyeball it and guesstimate which one is more impressive. We can all agree that both are insane. Overall, in our wrestling strength, on the table, where it matters, it's not even debatable that Levon is more powerful by way of dominance. John Berzink affirmed this fact. If some of the general strength lift, such as bench press, was the pinnacle of our wrestling strength, then Larry Wheels would be superior to Dennis in our wrestling. Also, there were periods where Dennis trained specifically for these feats. He trained in the strict curl to the break the record. He trained the squat, bench, and deadlift to compete in powerlifting. Levon, on the other hand, trained strictly for our wrestling. If Levon trained the strict curl with the intention of beating the record, I'm sure he could. But it serves no purpose for his our wrestling goals. On 165 kilograms, he did three reps. And on the third rep, he just held the weight halfway through for a sec. That's some freaky strength right there. The fight with Ermius really make him level up. Maybe that fight it was what he needed to boost his training motivation. Probably sitting at the top without no challenges can make a person bored and make himself let go. There has been a lot of lifts lately from everyone, but I must say this one looks to be the most impressive. 165 kilograms, and he did it with such a form. It's just insane the level of strength he is at. I think Ermius woke up even a bigger beast.